I'm literally distraught that it's over. I got in that pool lane's face. I am just on a raw, raw triathlon endurance kick here, folks. Running Trainiacs, it's just a short, get wet, do anything, be here kind of pool morning today, which is great because I could use a nap. Unrelated, completely non-triathlon news, if you aren't watching Westworld yet, what are you doing with your life? Kim and I crushed the entire first season of Westworld in about four days, and now I'm like, I'm literally distraught that it's over. Black kickboard. Fastest of all kickboards. 7,000, fast, continuous, what do you say? Sounds about right. Yeah, okay. No. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna shoot for about 2,000 of whatever now. Nearly decapitated my pinky finger with a butter knife this morning. Probably make me faster. After messing myself up yesterday with nearly a 7k swim, 2100 yards today, I got in that pool lane's face. Didn't take any crap today. Okay, so I talk a lot about learning how to bring your legs up to the surface of the water and floating. These tools, pull boy and a band, are the best ways to do that. Okay, so a pull boy comes in a lot of different forms. The more common ones that you'd see are like this made of foam. I use this one, nice, big, and thick on one end because I am Scottish and made for caber tossing and my legs are like tree trunks, so I need a little bit of extra flotation. Smaller one is gonna be more common. The trick to this is that you do not use this and kick at the same time. You put this in between your legs, typically up just above the knees, and you don't kick. How you get your legs to the surface of the water is by using the little bit of buoyancy with this, and then you tighten your core so that your legs drift up closer to the water. All right, ooh, hiccup. All right, so now where you start getting super advanced on getting your legs up to the surface of the water is when you pair this with this. This makes your legs float, this makes your legs sink. It's just an old inner tube hiccups. You can get a fancier one that's a little bit softer on the ankles from Finesse, just a few bucks. You wrap this around your ankles and I wouldn't recommend starting without this because as you'd expect, hiccup. You wrap this around your ankles, you're gonna want to sink. So start off with a band, hiccup, a pull boy, and a band and do like just one length of the pool. A 50, a 25. Start with small little bits to really get your body in the habit of bringing your legs up close to the water. You're gonna have to pick up your cadence so strokes are gonna be a lot faster. You're gonna have to force your core to hold your legs up close to the water and eventually it's gonna become a fair bit easier to have this paired with this and then that goes away and then you just have the band and you gotta build up the same way that you did when you added the band to the pull boy. This is not really gonna allow you to kick, just teeny tiny, maybe little dolphin kicks, but that's gonna be the best way for you to learn how to get your legs close to the surface of the water while not kicking a whole lot so that you can conserve oxygen and still feel fresh for the bike. You're gonna hate me when you start, I guarantee it. Feeling good, ready for the office. Ready for a day. Over the last couple of weeks, I feel like I've been on a little bit of a raw, raw triathlon motivation slant, and I'm feeling very motivation-y with the marathon swim. Even though last week and the last few days, I felt like a bag of trash because I got beat up in the boot camp workout. Sticking your face in water and staring at a black line gives you a lot of time to think about how you're gonna motivate yourself to train. Something that comes up basically every time people ask me 
why we're swimming for three hours Monday morning. Uh, obviously I answer, well, we're going for a long swim. And then they say like, how long is long? And I tell them 37 kilometers through the Red River. And right then, almost without fail, there's a look on their face that's about a second of processing. It goes to why? Why would you do that? And this is where we're gonna get, we're gonna get deep on this now. Occasionally, that why becomes fairly dismissive. And occasionally it becomes dismissive from people who are close to you. Particularly in our case, because the Red River is kind of known to be very dirty, silty, you can't see your hand when you're in it. There's a thought that it's extremely polluted. There's been some testing done, it's not. And if the question isn't why would you do that, just for clarification, it sometimes does get into oh my God, you shouldn't be doing that and dismissing us from wanting to do it, which is kind of what a lot of you will go through if you don't yet have a community of like-minded triathletes and endurance athletes around you. Your family, your friends, your coworkers, the people around you are going to wonder why you want to take on these new challenges in your life. And I think the reason for that, they themselves are scared to do those challenges in their life. So they wanna put that fear onto you. And even if you're not scared and you know that you can do it, they are reacting to their fear, not yours. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to do a triathlon, run a half marathon, run a marathon, an ultra marathon. All of these things are done by thousands of people all around the world. So that fear is completely unfounded and you don't need to listen to it. The reason that it's happening is because they're afraid themselves. They're not doing it because they're afraid for you. So you keep on going. And then when you end up doing it, typically what ends up happening is those same people that were dismissive of why you should do it, they are going to want to then do the things that you did. They are going to celebrate in your success, which is kind of why I look at it and I say, you know what? They're thinking about their own fears. When they see that you can do it, they them themselves know that it's something that they could do. So don't pay attention to those fears. Know that you can do it, go out and do it, and then yeah, let them celebrate with you and understand that these challenges that you're overcoming are doable for them. Be that motivation in their life. I am just on a raw, raw triathlon endurance kick here, folks. Go do it. All right.